I'm from Uxbridge, Massachusetts, and I go to Blackstone Valley Tech. And we're here today to paint the fence along the bike path so that when people are walking down the bike path in Milford or riding their bikes, they have a nice white fence to look at instead of the old, like, rotted wood and stuff. So that's what we're doing here today. When I found out it was going to be like 80 degrees, I was really excited that we were coming here because like I didn't want to be stuck inside all day with the nice weather, especially because I have to go to driver's ed later. So I'll be stuck inside later. My name is Janae Davis. I'm in 10th grade and I go to BVT. Um, we're doing this to help and clean the community up just as a nice gesture. It's, it's nice. It's a good experience. I mean, it's a like hands-on kind of project, so it's just fun. Um, using the spray gun, it gets a wider area and it doesn't make your hand as tired as it would if you were painting or rolling. It's really nice and it's a first-hand experience on the real world and how we're gonna go off after this. I'm uh, an outside paint sales rep for Koopman Lumber out of Whitensville, Mass. And I was involved with Koopman uh, and Blackstone Valley Tech in the paint and decorating department. Uh, Blackstone Valley Tech is a customer of mine and I've gotten to know George Creeley from the paint department uh, over the last two years and I've gotten a little involved with some of the projects. And this pr project in particular uh, is a graffiti project that um, I believe through the Leo Club we've initially got started and they wanted to clean up the fence because it had a lot of graffiti on it, some obscenities. Uh, George Creeley and his department decided that they would uh, jump in and lend a helping hand as well. They actually had an airless sprayer in their garage that had never been used. It's an expensive piece of equipment that they cannot use in the shop at the school. There's not enough room. Uh, it's a big production machine. This is a perfect project for them to get some experience on a machine that otherwise they wouldn't be able to use. Um, it's a high-end production machine that can literally spray out 100, 200 gallons in a day, whereas they're used to spraying out maybe a quart at best. So it's a big difference um, in scope for them. It's a lot different technique as well. You're not doing such fine finish work. You're more or less blasting a surface with paint to get it coated properly uh, and at the right mill thickness. One of the things I found is that the girls took to it no problem whatsoever. Actually, I ran a paint company for 10 years and some of them actually do way better work than some of my guys that have sprayed for a year. So uh, I think that lends a lot of credit to George and his crew and how they've taught them how to paint over the past couple years. Well, what we've got here is about 750 linear feet of fence that needed to be covered. And if they were to brush and roll it, I'd venture to say it would have taken them probably two weeks to do the primer and two top coats. And that would be working every single day from start of school to the end of school, maybe even beyond. Uh, what the sprayer enables them to do is literally in one day get a coat of primer on. Um, if we'd maybe started an hour or two earlier, we probably could have got a coat of primer and one coat of finish. Uh, like I said, it's a high production machine. It spits out a gallon and a half a minute uh, if, if we've got it at the right pressure. So um, with the right skills and experience, these girls will be able to rock this out. By the end of the project, they're going to be knocking it out in no time. So.